Well, the one, the one that's happening now, and it's been around a year or so, um, is remarketing. I mean, that's the big buzzword. So remarketing is the idea that you know, a visitor comes to your website, they do something, but they don't convert, they don't subscribe, or they don't buy, or become a lead. And they go wandering off around the web, and the idea is, is you can target them as they visit different websites and show an ad saying, hey, you added this, cart, uh, this product to cart, but you didn't purchase. Perhaps you'd like to come back and offer them just a reminder or discounts or whatever. So from a marketing point of view, that's very powerful because you know people are leaving, they had an interest, but for whatever reason they left. And if you can just you know tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, would you like to come back? Yeah. That's kind of like a nice way of thinking about customer service. So that's a big thing at the moment, people remarketing. Um, for the future, I think, uh, in the not too distant future, because you can never look too far ahead in this industry, but I think next year, I think what we'll see is what I call um, dynamic content optimization mm -hmm. uh, really coming to the fore. So that is, uh, when I say that, I mean a visitor comes to your website and they stay on your website and they maybe look at three or four pages or, or stay a certain time or look at a particular page, special offer, mm -hmm. or click on something. And you go, aha, because this visitor has clicked on something or done something or been around a certain time, they must be engaged and perhaps they're interested in my special offer mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. Now, rather than waiting for them to find your special offer, you could actually change the content of your website in real time mm -hmm. for that visitor. So I think that, that dynamic content optimization in real time is something that's going to come very soon uh, and I think it will be the next, the next big thing because it's powerful. How does that uh, change the requirements for web analytics specialists? Yeah, I mean, you have to think more about, obviously you have to think more about real time, so rather than looking in the past, which is what a lot of analysts do, we, we look in the past and we determine what happened and then we try and figure out how to do that better in the future, for example. Um, you do become more predictive, um, you have to think slightly differently and you have to think in real time, and you have to think in terms of persuasion. So, you know, the psychology of, of, of what you want to do to change a visitor's journey uh, comes in. So it's not just about data tables and, you know, correlations and, and things like that. It actually becomes, okay, how do we change this? Uh, how do we persuade a, a potential prospect, uh, sorry, a potential customer who's a prospect to become a lead or to become a customer? Mm -hmm.